Hello and welcome to the first CI News of 2019. In the news this week, medics advise families to trawl social media to see if sick relatives want to die. Out-of-date named person guidance is encouraging Scottish teachers to break the law. And a mother shares how she ignored doctors who told her to abort her babies. But first, Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt has launched a review into Christian persecution worldwide. Speaking at a meeting with senior church leaders and survivors of persecution, he acknowledged the dramatic rise in violence against Christians. He added that Britain can and must do more. It is estimated that 215 million Christians faced discrimination and violence last year, and an average of 250 were killed for their faith each month. The Bishop of Truro, Philip Mount Stephen, has been tasked with a review which aims to map the persecution of Christians and assess how much support the UK government currently offers. I'll be taking an objective look at how the British government can better respond to the pressing plight of persecuted Christians around the world. New guidance from the British Medical Association advises families to search through old online content of patients to help determine if they want to die. The BMA said that emails and social media posts could contain vital evidence that a seriously ill patient would want to be killed by assisted suicide. NHS doctor and columnist Max Pemberton said to put it starkly, one Facebook post might be enough to bring about your death. The Christian Medical Fellowship Steve Fouch told the Christian Institute the guidance had to be scrapped. Somebody might well express in an offhand comment in social media about Oh, you know, be prepared to put me out of my misery if I ever get into that state. But what people then want in reality can change very rapidly. It seems a very weak basis for uh, establishing a set desire to be put out of their misery, as it were, uh, just to trawl through media, social media, emails and, so, and other um electronic means of communication to find some kind of spurious evidence that that person might at one stage have wanted to die. Scottish teachers are being encouraged to break the law by outdated guidance referring to the name person scheme. The scheme's data sharing provisions were ruled unlawful by the Supreme Court in 2016. But the sex education guidance telling teachers to share a child's private information with named persons remains unchanged on the Scottish Government's website. Simon Calvert, a spokesman for the No to Name Persons campaign, called on Education Minister John Swinney to remove the guidance without further delay. Two and a half years after the ruling, there has still been no attempt to update it. There is no note attached warning teachers that its legal advice about data sharing is dangerously wrong. And finally, a mother has expressed her joy at giving birth to three healthy babies just months after doctors told her to abort at least one of them. Katie Johnson explained how at her 12-week scan she was told her triplets were not developing normally and that she should abort one or two to give the other a better chance of survival. Katie and her husband Patrick refused. There was no way that we could terminate one or two of our babies. We had to give them all a chance of survival. The triplets were delivered safely at 31 weeks and Katie shared how they are now all growing normally with the smallest Oliver quickly catching up with his siblings. The triplets have all survived and are here with us to celebrate their first Christmas. It's an incredible gift. Well, that's all for this week. For more information on all our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.